Michael Zane. In today's video, there's too many things where I want to try testing them out, playing with them, and I just don't know what I want to do. So, I saw Nikki Tutorials did a Jenga video, and that's where I kind of got this idea, and there were Jay Kids that did an idea that was similar to this. Basically, just writing a whole bunch of products, and I threw it in my box. I have empty. This one's where I got my shampoo and conditioner and testing out. That'll be future red, maybe. It'll be a lot closer, sure. I threw everything in here, just shaking it up. And this is everything from eyes, face, everything, including what I do with my hair, because my hair is horrid at the moment. So we can find out if I get to keep my natural hair or throw on a wig like I want to do. So, I right, crossed my, my address in case anyone is like, you left your address on there. No, I didn't. Okay, so, this is towards me. I cannot see this. So we're just going to reach in and grab things. I put like four to five options for each like category. So, it's a hot a hot mess that we have in here. Alright, so we have ColourPop Primer is what we get to use. If I grab um, a different one from in that category, I had to disregard it and throw it back in the box until I get everything. Just so you guys know. Uh, we're doing ColourPop Lips. I should have done matte um, satin or blotted part of that, but I didn't. Um, uh, Colourpop Brow. Wow, this box really is in the for Colourpop at the moment. I did throw in Colourpop because I have all that, but... <laughs> Colourpop Bronzer. Wait, come on. Where's the not Colourpop? Oh, there you go. Flower Blush. Oh, jeez. That's like a something that goes on like before. Milani Foundation. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, that's Makeup Revolution, so we're not using that. That's a foundation. Um, we're using NYX for setting. What do you? Oh, lashes. Okay, we're gonna use the Arenzo Cosmetics doll lashes. Lovely. What am I missing? <gasps> yes, we got NYX Epic Incliner. I was actually concerned about that. Okay, I need to look. What am I missing? Um. Okay, so we don't have an eyeshadow, we don't have my hair, and we don't have highlights. <laughs> That's a lot we don't have. Okay, um, <gasps> yes, we got a wig. I think I've been wearing a bunch, not like all my videos. Okay, um, I have two things. Oh, I didn't have bronzer, and I grabbed a palette at the same time. All right, so we're using the pigment palette palette. And we're using Kat Von D Shade and Light for bronzer. Contour, I should say, for contour. Oh no, I did have a bronzer. Is bronzer slash contour is what I put together, so I can't use that. Alright, I need a highlight. It's the last thing we have on our list. Highlight! Finally! Milani highlight. Alright, so that's what we're wearing. What we're using today. Alright, have you guys zoomed in? I don't previously is more or less leaned away because I have other makeup on earlier today. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't do mascara, it's because I only have one mascara at the moment, so that one would have been just kind of silly to put in there. So I did have primers for the eyes, but if I got concealer, it was going to be a concealer, and then I just had to pull again for the second one. But so. This is the guy we're using, which is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, which is not my favorite. I did not know. But my eyes could use some lightness, I guess. Because they're very dark at the moment, so maybe this will help me out in that aspect. So, I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to take a... I think my main problem with this concealer is one... I just hate it in every aspect, actually. The only thing I think it's good for is when I need to cut the crease. That's really it. But, whatever. Okay. So we're using this palette. The Martin Royalty palette. We get to create a look with these colors. It's gorgeous. They may have a smell. It's on this side. Smell the little crush on them. 
I need to stay in camera. Okay, um, so this one doesn't have like a nice light base to start off with, so we're going to have to go in with a color. I did look the other day using Coco as like the main dominant color, along with Crown. So I think I'm going to try using the blue and purple tones. So we're going to start off with um, Fame. Which is this color. I'm going to take that on a Morphe brush that looks like this. My brushes don't have numbers, so if you guys are wondering what the numbers are, I don't know. The vegan set didn't have numbers, so i going to get them out of my brush, and I'm going to I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm just going to go heavy with the blue. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Um, we're going to stop there for right now with the blue. Then we go in with velvet, which is this one right here. And this is an e.l.f. blending eye brush. I'm going to go in the art corner with that. Next, I'm going to go back in with Fame. And yes, there is a mirror on the palette. I'm just not using it. So I'm just going to go back over top of that brown. And then it basically becomes like this darker blue. It kind of looks like a darker blue now versus just a very stark color. Okay. Um, this looks crazy. I'm going to make makeup wipe real quick and clean up that edge. Because we're well, moving on from that part. Okay. That craziness is gone. We're going to cut the crease. Because why not? Um, let me use... I didn't really grab a brush to do that with. I'll grab the normal one. Okay. I really need to clean this brush, but whatever. We're going to go back in with that ColourPop concealer. Just going to pat it right here, right now. I'm going to cut it down because it marks off where I need to go. I'm going to do the thing. There we go. <laughs> it's like, tell me where to go. <laughs> it tells me where the crease in my eye is, so I know where to go up to. I find that a very helpful tip. Oh, I didn't bring it in. Ah, okay. That's fine. It's fine. This is fine. This will turn out just swimmingly. I didn't put anything there. And then do the inner part. I was supposed to do that first. Damn it. Okay. Well. This is gonna get interesting. Alright, so I want to use that purple. I feel like it's gonna stand out weird. I really need something there. Okay. I'm gonna take a Luxie medium angle brush in the shade Fairy, which is this guy right here. I haven't put, used that one on my eye yet. I've just done a swatch of it. I need to do more swatches of this palette. Oh, geez. Okay. We're just going to tuck this in here. Because it's cute and I like it. It gives me that tone. Ooh, pretty. Splash that eye. Then you watch the Grinch. I want to watch the Grinch so badly. Okay. Um, all right. I want the brush, but I gotta use the same spray that we picked. It's not the one I normally use. I almost never reach for this one. It's the NYX um, matte finish. 
All right, we're gonna grab Diamond. I'm just gonna move on. Uh, Diamond, this guy. Which is gorgeous. And I am very off, only half really on camera, so. Was I really ever here? I'm gonna coat my brush in the diamond. I don't know if you guys can see that out. And then I'm gonna spray it. Weesh. Okay, and then we're going to. I guess we just tap that over. Alright, I think, I think, I think, it's time for the Majestic. We can use the same brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off real quick. Alright, Majestic. I think I'm gonna use that one as a way to blur he right here together. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like that may have just ruined it. But we're just gonna do it on both sides. We were gonna ruin on one eye, we got ruined on the other eye. Okay. I don't think that went. So I'm gonna grab a more diamond and tap that on top. And the camera cut out. Wonderful. I'm going back in with velvet. Mixed with fame. And we're hiding that as best as we can. Because I quite frankly don't like it. <laughs> I don't like how that went. I'm not blaming the shadow. I'm blaming my poor um, color choice. You guys gonna go, no, leave it. I like that. No, I didn't. Okay, that. I'm gonna say that looks better. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know what this look is. Okay. No! I dropped the palette. Alright, we're gonna come back to that palette and hopefully it didn't die. Okay. Just wanna make sure I don't have anything on my face. Alright, I'm gonna zoom you guys back up. Alright, you're zoomed back up. Alright, so next we had primer, which I got the ColourPop primer. What is with my accent today? Just around all of them, so. The All Star Matte and Blur Primer. Okay, laying's fixed. Alright, next, we get the primer on. Um, before it's completely gone, we're gonna take the Milani foundation. This guy right here. This is the shade 001 Porcelain. It's our two-in-one foundation and concealer, which is good, because I don't want to actually use the color pop for anything more than cutting the crease. It just gives no coverage. <laughs> it was crazy. And I forgot to put powder in this, so I can't use it, because I don't know which one it would be. So I have two choices. And if there's more than one choice, I had to go in the box. For me, but... okay. Suppose it's the challenge. I gotta do concealer, like I said I would. I just hate this thing very much, but we did get it, so we use it. I just don't know where the place where it went for it. There we go. Alright, so while I just don't have any powder on, I'm going to grab the flower blush. Because that is these. Okay, so I get two choices. We have pinched, 
and we have nectar. I feel like for this look, pinch is going to go better than nectar is. I see you could do more and it would show up way better. I'm just doing it very lightly because I'm not the greatest at this. Okay. I normally like to set this with a uh, blush, powder blush, but I don't have that. Um, let's go brows next. We have ColourPop brows. So, ColourPop brows mean that I'm using this brow pencil. And this brow uh, gel. This is these are the brow bosses. I'm um, using the shade dark brown. If you guys are wondering why I do dark brown, it's purely because my brows are almost white and non-existent. This has left our product on it. Just FYI, my real brows you wouldn't even be able to see them on my face. So I check, don't I always just leave the raw product in that I have from like the day before? Yes. Not a good idea. But it saves me like 30 minutes to do a brow. So I'm okay with that. I use Wanda Brow a lot to kind of, because it's like a three or four day brow. Basically it just stains your skin where you leave it. That was actually one of the options was just put more in. And every other day I just say like a pencil or a brow pomade and I call it good. Now I'm going with the, the gel, which actually isn't colored, it's just a gel to hold it in place. Okay. There we go. Looking, looking like something. Alright. Next. I think we need some bronzer. We got the ColourPop bronzer, which I need to find. So I'll be right back when I find that. All right, found it. This is in the shade um, CA Dreaming. I really need to figure out a better organizational system for um, my blush, highlight, and bronzer drawer because it's all just a blur. I'm just taking this on a ginormous fluffy brush. Hi, Bex. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Now that I know this thoroughly messed up. I'm going to take the sponge, take top on top, put some more foundation there, and that doesn't look as messed. It kind of looks a little bit more natural. So that's done. It's because I'm in the drawer that seriously needs to be reworked. All right, it's next. Milani highlight. Uh, this is the, I don't know if this is the name of it or if this is the shade name. I think it's Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder, and the shade is Afterglow. I'm going to take that on Morphe M532. Um, I don't have a code. I only have one code. I'm going to say it later, because <laughs> we got those lashes. And you guys are wondering... It's like the only coat that I have because it's really the only thing that like I really, really like. And also they're the only uh, false lashes that I have, so. I have one other option, typically. So, it's always this or that, so. I don't mind using having a coat for that and pr pushing it because it's literally the only false lashes I use. Okay. Now that we have highlight. Bring it back to the eyes. I'm not going to resume you guys in. Sorry. Alright, so next we need to finish out the lower lash line and we need to do mascara and 
lashes. All right, we're gonna go back in with this palette. Um, I think I might take Fairy right here. Which brush doesn't have tons of product? Yes, yeah, this one. All right, so this is a conce small concealer brush from um, Elf. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Fairy. And go right here with that. Okay, now that I got Fairy there, because it kind of ties it together. I feel like I'm going to tie in that mistake that I said I was going to get rid of. But now I'm thinking about putting that purple all through right here. So we're going to go in with Majestic. I'm not going to wet the brush. I think I'm going to add in a little bit of extravagant mixed in with it and do the lower lash line. Now that we got purple underneath and we're looking a little crazy. <laughs> I'll put away my brushes. Actually, I'm gonna grab a little bit of diamond. Just make sure we got that in there too. But it's cohesive. Okay. Setting this off to the side so it doesn't break. Alright. Oh frick. I don't remember which one of my three of these is the one that's actually good. I should just get rid of the ones that are broken. Um, I think that one's broken one. Broken one. Good one! I like this one. I can tell it's broken because there's a hair. I don't know if you can see it. But this one doesn't leak. Um, this guy does. And I've used this one too much. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of that so I don't accidentally grab it again. Goodbye, all the hard work I did. Goodbye. See, they're not even. And I'm not happy about that. So this one's going like this, and the other one's going like this. I need this one going like this. I'm about to redo it. Okay. I'm gonna redo it. I just gotta. We can't leave that. We can't let that stand. Alright. Blue. Hello, blue. Welcome back. Purple. I need more purple. <laughs> I'm out. Try to be funny with fixing this mistake, and I uh, kind of played myself. Quite frankly. Okay. That. That. Yes. I don't like it. Okay. Let me move on. Um. I'm take a sh angle brush. And we're going to get into a supernova shadow. One of these. I think the one that matches this like the best is going to be from the valley. I'm just going to look. See if maybe one of the others. What I really want to do. I really think mothership. I'm going to do mothership. I never do mothership. I should do mothership for once. And then I think I'm going to do black light under it. For no reason. Now where'd it go? No, I threw it away. Dang it. No, I didn't. Oh, good. I kept the insert so I could put um, 
these guys on it. Because it's like my favorite. If I get ever a new palette and it's got one of these in it, I keep it until it's like fully filled. <laughs> I do clean it off. There we go. I think that looks right because then if you catch a light, it's like that. Perfect. Alright. Mascara. Essence. So it's the only one I have. Okay, there's mascara, because you can't see my lashes at all. Okay, we're grabbing false lashes, we get the doll. So that's part of the collection, and it's this one right here, is the one that we got. I did have all these in there. I said, this is like the only lashes I have, other than the Yardell Demi Wespies, which was an option, I did put that in there. He doesn't want any of these lashes. Like this set I think is $45 for all five pairs. Um, which I think is a pretty good deal. It like comes out roughly to $9 a lash. It's not bad. Very cheap. I think each of the lashes are $10. Or a little bit more than that. I think they're ten dollars on their own. I'll put the right price on the screen if I'm wrong. What lips am I gonna do? Cause I get pick in the ColourPop which one to do. I just don't know. I'm using dual lash glue. Not that you guys can see it at all. That's what I'm using. To see everything with. I'm very close to buying a new pair of doll. I've worn doll a lot. Hollywood I still think is fine. I've worn it like 15 times but I still don't notice a difference with it. I think doll is just because it's got a thinner band. That's why I'm noticing. And I might need a new one. I never used so me. I don't know why I just have never tried that one. I should. So it's really pretty. I just don't reach for it. If I'm like gonna go that, I'm like, I'll just do Irresistible. Which was the first pair I ever tried. Legendary and Hollywood are my favorites though. You used code 10. May 10. May 10. For 10% off. The link is in the description box if you guys are wondering. Along with what the code was again. If you guys are wondering. I always have it there in that description box. It's not always mentioned in videos that so I have a code. It's just there if you want to use it. I do get a small amount of money back from if you purchase. But you get money off, I get a little bit in return for their recommendation, and I do like these. I honestly do. I was debating on trying some Morphe ones, or just getting some other ones just to try them, but these are just so pretty. I wish they came up with more, more variety than just the five, because this is literally all of the ones that they have. Um, Alright, so that was that. Alright, next is 
lips. I need to figure out what I want to do. So, yeah, ColourPop, and there are a lot of ColourPop options. I think I'm gonna go nude. I'm gonna find a lip and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Ultra Satin in Femme. It's kind of purpley. There we go. We get to set using the next fit matte finish long lasting setting spray. And we get a wig. Let me throw that on and then we'll do the outro. And here we go. Here's the finished look. If you guys want to know what wig it is, it is fan. Okay, Sunny. Found on Amazon for like $30. It's like my favorite one. It's like my natural hair color. Nice this part up here. And the length that I actually kind of want my hair. So, yeah. So that was the wig that the box chose. So those are everything the box chose me to do. I'll probably throw a bunch of these back in here. For sure, all of the face products because that all can use again. The eyeshadow palette is probably the only I'm going to take out, just so that way I kind of get forced to try a different one the next time we do this. Okay, if you want to see any other looks or videos using using oh, I just hit myself in the face using the pigment palette, Modern Royalty palette, because I am definitely enjoying that palette. So, I'm just going to throw all these choices back in the box, and I'm going to do this again in the future. I don't know when, but we're going to come onto this box and use it more, because this forces me to step out of my comfort zone, and there are still a ton of things that we could choose in here. I can put all my oh, actually no we're gonna put all my eyeshadow palettes in here. <laughs> That's good drops crazy in the future. Um so yeah there's the finished look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did this big big ugh. give this video a massive pause up subscribe join the help pack and I'll see you guys all in the next video which is probably gonna be the Bob Ross inspired video um which is probably gonna be up on Wednesday so See you all then. Bye.